next town over, on opposite ends of Main Street, are two delightful gift shops owned by two brothers. As siblings can be, they are highly competitive with one another. They stock similar items in their store, but neither's store inventory is all that valuable. Yet despite the similarities between the two, the first gift shop struggles each month to make money, while the second flourishes. A closer look at each shop's expenses, though, reveals one major difference. Without regard to the relatively small cost to replace his entire inventory, the first brother borrowed heavily from the bank to purchase a state-of-the-art security system. He also pays monthly for a full-time security guard and a remote monitoring service. These recurring costs weigh heavily on the first shop, keeping it in the red. Now the other brother was also concerned about security, but he took the time to consider his situation. There is a police station close by. Crime rates are historically low, and he knew the total value of his inventory and property. So this brother decided to install some well-placed locks and obtain insurance. All of this allowed for him to make a reasonable profit each month. Sadly, the first brother's shop went out of business, while the second shopkeeper's business grew to heights he'd never imagined. He even decided to hire his overprotective brother as a manager. The moral of the story? The three cyber risk elements, likelihood, vulnerability, and hazard, determine the risk acceptance level. Like how the successful brother knew that crime rates were low and that a police station was nearby. The risk acceptance level then informs the security control methods used to protect, detect, respond, and recover. Like why the same brother chose to install locks and obtain adequate insurance.